In this video, we're going to look at the basic edit tool functions in Pro Tools. The edit tools are located in the toolbar area of the edit window. These include the zoomer tool, the trim tool, the selector tool, the grabber tool, the scrubber tool, pencil tool, and the smart tool. First, let's look at the zoomer tool. The zoomer icon is the one that looks like a magnifying glass, and it has two basic modes, normal and single zoom. In normal zoom, when I execute a zoom, the zoomer remains selected after zooming. In single zoom mode, if I'm coming from the grabber tool, for example, when I execute the zoom, it will actually switch me back to the grabber, as you can see here. Using the zoomer tool is pretty straightforward. You can simply click on a desired point in the track, and Pro Tools will gradually step you in to a higher level of zoom. If you want to zoom back out, you hold down the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows, and you can see that the plus sign in the icon becomes a minus, and then you can step back out through each level of zoom. You can also click and drag to zoom in on a particular area. So for example, if I wanted this Pad 8 clip to fill the window, I would click at the beginning, drag to encompass the entire clip, and then release the mouse button. And as you can see, it will fill the whole display. The Trim tool offers several different modes, but for now we're going to focus on the standard trim functionality. The Trim tool lets you trim excess content from the beginning or end of a clip. It performs the trim non-destructively, which means that you can always trim back out to change your mind. The selector actually has a couple of functions. One is simply to position the playback cursor at a particular place in the session. I can also select an area for playback by clicking and dragging. The selector tool can select audio data horizontally and vertically. You'll notice that the selected areas appear with a darker highlight. The next tool we'll look at is the grabber. The grabber is generally used to select entire clips with a single click. It can also be used to reposition a clip by clicking and dragging. The scrubber tool can be used to scrub slowly across audio tracks. This is a great way to listen very closely when you need to find a precise edit point. The pencil tool has two basic functions. One is to destructively redraw waveform data. The ability to redraw waveform data is typically used to try to repair pops or clicks in an audio file. For example, here I have a pop on the bass track. Once I've zoomed in far enough, I can use the pencil to simply smooth over the pop. The other thing the pencil is useful for is drawing in MIDI data on a track. The Smart Tool gives you simultaneous access to the Trim Tool, the Selector Tool, and the Grabber Tool, as well as the ability to make fades and crossfades. You know that the Smart Tool is active when the bracket across the three tools is highlighted. To use the Smart Tool as the Trim Tool, simply move the cursor close to the start or end of the clip. To use it as the Selector, go to the top half of the clip. To use it as a Grabber, go to the bottom half of a clip. To create a fade in, you go to the upper left corner. To create a fade out, the upper right corner. And if you'd rather make a crossfade, you go to the lower left or right corner. So that's a basic overview of the Pro Tools edit tool functions.